Good day everyone, welcome to episode 15 of how to build a website from scratch. Today what we're going to be doing is polishing. There's, uh, I mean we already have uh, articles being saved, you can add a new article and then also edit it. Now what we want to do is make sure those processes work nicely. Uh, we want to make sure, take care of like little edge cases or like right now we have problems with the publishing dates and uh, we need to fix that. And uh, we're also gonna look at the way, like, which fields are missing missing in our table. So I'm gonna do that fairly quickly. We're not gonna go add all the fields we need, but just those that are needed for our website to be complete. All right, let's get started. Straight with MySQL. So we will directly start with the table. Um, unfortunately, I didn't plan this uh, pretty well. So here's what I did. I created a new table and with some new fields and I ended up with the same fields but I could have just uh, edited the previous table we had to add the necessary fields because my first idea was like to add all everything we were going to need but since I'm trying to make these videos short I decided maybe I should just add a few more fields that are relevant to what we have right now then in the future we're gonna add more stuff and the uh, extra stuff I want to add is like some metadata some meta keywords um, a few extra things that uh, might be needed for our table so I'm not gonna be doing this here so all I'm gonna do is add a date modified uh, and uh, also the, to check the status of the article if it's published or not so this way you can have an article saved in there but not published it's gonna be a draft basically and you can publish it anytime you want yeah I'm gonna change from publish to status status and set the uh, values to publish or draft by default is gonna be draft yeah it's uh, once I did it and I realized oh well I could have just edited it and then I came all the way here and like okay no sorry at this point I still didn't know so I was trying to find uh, remember how to write the query I'd like to insert into a, some data from another table and I had completely forgot, so you can see me struggle here for a second, but I'll figure it out as always. Yeah, so it's the syntax is insert into table name and then select from whatever you want, like all the fields you need. Um, yeah, it's a good idea to learn SQL. SQL is not hard, I mean, whether it's Microsoft SQL or PG SQL, I mean. Postgres or MySQL, they're all basically the same general syntax. There's a few differences here and there, but yeah, if you know one, you know the others. You just have to know like the little edge cases. So I think it's a good idea to learn at least the basic. Um, at le on my case, in my case, how I learned was by using it. I never took like a like a formal training for MySQL. I just used it as I saw fit. And uh, I mean, of course, the first queries you write are gonna be awful. Um, like my first tables were not indexed; they had a lot of data. They it was just a mess, and I didn't really know how to deal with it. But uh, eventually, you end up learning. You end up learning. For example, there's uh, some things like the fact that my URL right now has uh, you. you I mean, once you get to a page, it checks the URL and search the database. That's very inefficient, especially if it's a long field, uh, something that has more than uh, 32 characters. It's not efficient at all. But anyway, in the future, maybe we'll fix that. We'll try to use like MD5 or something like that to make it so we will be able to index it, make it much easier to load, much faster to load our table data. And also there were some things here I was uh, trying to figure out on the fly which is the publishing rules basically how like how do I mark <laughs> an item as published is the user supposed to just put the date when it's published and if the date is greater than today then the wait day is less than the current date then set it as published or not and I was struggling for a little minute minute then I realized you know what why don't you just add a checkbox and uh, in order to make it published, just check the publish button and that's it. I know, I mean, it's very, like at, at the time you're recording, there's just so much pressure. For me, I'm like, okay, I want to do everything the right way, but I also want to make the video short, so 
I don't know really what to do. <laughs> at some point, I'm just stuck uh, trying to find the best way, and at the same time, I want to make a like something fast. And uh, eventually, fast wins. So I'm not really doing things the best way because, like I said, these things are the most boring part for me. Even though they're the most necessary, these are the parts that are not just uh, aesthetics. They're the, the logic of your application. You need to spend time on this. But since I'm recording, I'm trying to do it also as fast as I can. And maybe I should do more than one take. I mean, I do a few takes, but not enough, I guess. But yeah, these are things that you have to deal with. Like right here, you can still see me struggling and changing my mind. Uh, there's some things I add and then I remove because I'm not sure. I don't think. Like, as I write, I realize that these don't make any sense, so I change them. But that's that's the process of building anything, really. Um, you can take, like, some, a piece of paper and start designing everything, and it looks great on paper. But as soon as you start coding, you see some little edge cases. You realize, okay, wait, that's not going to work. Um, and then you have to go through different iterations and see what's the best way to do things. And I do that a lot. I do that a lot. And since you are watching something that's recorded, you might see you see a lot of this process from me. But also an another thing that you don't always notice is that, that I pause the video a lot sometimes, just to figure when something is too hard. I pause it to figure it out. What is the best way to do it? And uh, yeah, you can see all this iteration here. Also, there's one thing, um, it's uh, like especially when you're using strings, like to set a value, for example, like this one, uh, setting it to draft or to published, I'm going to be using the, these two uh, terms a lot. So if I'm always writing a string, there's uh, there's chances when once uh, at some point I forget if it's published with a D at the ED at the end or not. So I'll, I might write it the wrong way in like one specific spot and then it'll be breaking and I won't know what is happening because it's just an ED missing. The, good way, the way to deal with that is to use constants or like a variable instead and uh, save that string in there. So instead of calling the string, rewriting the string all the time, you just use a variable. That makes more sense and makes it much easier to maintain in the long run. You can have a file that has all the strings so you can just reuse them. But anyway. Uh, this is a little part where I use it, and I could also use it for the places where I use the success or failed. Do those can be constants, and uh, it'll make my life easier. So that way I'll never misspell them. Plus, you can see I use a lot of the... Actually, I don't know if you can see that, but I use a lot of the autocomplete um, solution from the IDE. So that way I don't have to misspell things. It helps. It helps a lot. Um, here, <laughs> I was not sure how many fields I added, and uh, yeah, I had one extra, extra percent S right there, but you know, for some reason my mind was not working. It's supposed to be seven, but I have eight, and I counted eight, and I thought, well, it's eight, and it wasn't working. But eventually, of course, I end up figuring it out. Like you can see right now, I paused the video and tried to find the solution. Anyway, now I'm gonna test, make sure everything works. Yeah, looks like it works. Um, since I'm done with the add post section, I'm gonna do also the same, well, something similar for the edit post section. That way I can uh, set the publishing date inside uh, when, when, when you're editing an article, you can change the publishing date and you can also set if this is to be published or not. I know it sounds redundant, but this could be useful. Um, you can write something and make it, give it a publishing date, but not publish it right away. Um, you, or even when that day appears, uh, happens, you don't want to publish it. So you want to keep it as a draft, for example. That is useful. So that's what I did right here. I added those two values. They seem redundant at first, but once you start using them, it makes sense. And of course, I have to add the code for it now. I need to do like a special video dedicated to validation, because validation is really important. It's the most important thing you're gonna do, I mean, after writing your content, because 
you want to make sure your data comes in the way you want. You want to make sure that the, if it's not the way you want, to not save, basically. And yeah, that, that's really important. And also, that's a, that's the through valid because of validation. I mean, through validation, that's how you're gonna prevent SQL injection. That's how you're gonna prevent any weird sort of characters being added to your website, or you know any of those things. So it's always a good idea to have that. And as you can see, a, a lot of errors happen these, uh, <laughs> in this video. Is because uh, I've like when you make a SQL, uh, SQL uh, error, the whole website. Uh, the, I mean, it stops. We throw an error like we did before, uh, and uh, it shows me how where the error occurred. I mean, I think it would be a good idea to start formatting or like giving a style to our uh, to our errors page so that way it, it looks more friendly it gives us exactly like we want to see like the exact place where something went wrong and then make it appear nicely i mean because right now you can all see text unformatted text and it's kind of painful to read so i think uh, in the near future i'll start i'll dedicate a video to that just for errors so we can uh, make them display correctly You see me pausing like that and not doing much that's when I'm thinking because uh, you know sometimes I don't know how to do things I'm trying to figure it out and again you can see me pause the video and I remove a bunch of codes that I feel like there was nonsense Programming is uh, its not a linear process. You don't start from the beginning till the end. Because there's just so many things you have to make sure are working correctly. So you have to go like, each thing depends on the other. That's the thing. So you want to make sure you're handling all the cases. So you're always going to be jumping from place to place. So yeah, it's not a linear process. Like here, I copied again. I forgot to put the comma. So I'm going to have a SQL error once I access the page once I try to save boom yeah that's the comma again it's like the third time I'm having this error and I'm still struggling <laughs> with it there you go all right I think that here it worked we finally can uh, write an article and save it and uh, it should be working just fine and also I have made this little mistake I have uh, I need to have, well it's not a mistake, but it needs to have at least a hundred characters before I can save correctly. So yeah, I may, I may need to decrease that. Alright, so let's try to save. And it works. We go to the edit page, it says eat more noodles. And by the way, I know the website looks like crap, so we will need to fix that. We will need to fix that. Not fix it really, it's just try to make something different, more appealing I guess. But that's the problem when you're not a designer. I mean, here's the thing. I'm not a designer, but I can still design something. So the best way to make a design is to go through, a, look at other people's design, look like a hundred designs, and then see what you can do. You know, see, copy a few, few things here and there. Yes, I do that. I copy other designs. All right, that's it for today. I guess we did, this video was fairly quick. There's not much happening. Um, we polished the admin section a little more, the edit section, and the add new article sections. Um, and we also updated the table, the article table. It should be good now. I mean, it does most of the things. And uh, we like, like I said, this is just polishing. And uh, this is the process. This is something we're gonna be doing often. Um, we already have our website working, but now we're gonna have to go and polish places here and there to make sure everything looks beautiful basically all right that's it for today thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also leave a thumbs up so you can uh, let me know that you like the video <laughs> all right that's it thank you bye